Hi everyone, hope everyone is buzzing and you're doing well today. How are you feeling today? If you're feeling good and you're feeling bright, you're feeling nourished and you're feeling good, the sun is out, so the weather is beautiful, the weather is nice. So if you're enjoying the weather as well and you're enjoying everything about the weather, because the weather is it's all about the weather, isn't it? We're getting some vitamin D in the sun, even I'm going out at some point today to get some vitamin D in my system to get some nourishment in my blood, you know, from the sun. Thank God for that. I hope, I hope I'm doing well. I hope you can hear me all clearly. I'm doing well. I've had my meds, so my eyes are drowsy. My nose, my face is drowsy. Um, please have pity on this plant up here. It's not dying. It's slowly going, but it's not dying. It's coming back. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone that have liked my page, that have liked, that have subscribed, that have shared my page. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for doing that. That means a lot to me. I appreciate every one of you that has been encouraging with positive words. Some of you have commented privately. Some of you have commented on my on my YouTube channel. I've even had my mom commented as well. I appreciate you guys all so much. So what does the channel look like? I, to be fair, I don't know. The ch channel will probably take the form that it will take. The idea is to raise awareness about mental health and to provide tools that I'm using to help me on this journey or as I document this journey to recovery. Um, regarding regarding uh, what's it called, the tools that I have, I'm going to share them with you. But what I would like to talk about today is my, my, my time at the hospital. I spent time at the hospital, yes. Two months to be precise. Um, was it pleasant? No, it wasn't pleasant. Not all of it was pleasant. I, I didn't mean to, I didn't need to be at the hospital. I guess the people at the time felt it was better because of the safeguarding. My diagnosis, um, I've not mentioned it yet and I've not mentioned how I got into this point, but I will at some point. Um, but I felt let down by the team that did do what they did. I guess they thought that was the best idea at the time for them. But if anything, they actually did make, make the matters worse for me. But carry on praying for me anyway. I know some of you are praying for me. I'm praying for my healing. And I appreciate you for doing that because I do need my healing and I need my speedy recovery immediately. So that time, my time at the hospital. It was it was a, it was an interesting ex experience because I didn't expect one minute I was at work, the next minute I was at the hospital. I admitted didn't know what was going on, wasn't sure what was happening, just wasn't sure what was going on really, and and I spent time at a ward and then I got I got changed into another ward. I'm just gonna go like this anyway. It probably won't be edited out because I don't. I was doing to be edited videos. <laughs> what? Why would I say that? It's YouTube. I should be editing everything, making everything look perfect. No, this is me raw coming to you live from my house. Raw, raw, raw. Um, yeah, so essentially so that was what happened with my experience. What I've been doing so far since I've come out of the office is what is the most what's the most important thing, I guess that's what the most important thing is making sure i'm keeping i'm looking after myself i'm eating well that's important that's why i asked making sure i'm eating well making sure i'm praying we listen to my gospel music being in the in, in the in the in the in the in the atmosphere of christ in the atmosphere of godliness in the atmosphere of goodness being in the atmosphere of goodness being in the atmosphere of mercy being in the atmosphere of greatness that's what i've been doing I've been doing that so yeah so that's that's one of the things i want to talk about today i hope that my channel will be able to raise awareness of mental health and be able to do things to do with mental health support mental health patients and anyone that is going through it because it's not even it's not an easy illness to go through the different diagnosis that comes from mental health sorry my face looks tired again that's probably my medication there's probably different types of illnesses that comes through mental health, whether it's schizophrenia, it's psychosis, it's um, all sorts of stuff comes through it. So it's very important that we have empathy. I mean, lots of 
a lot of or, or agitation a lot of awareness are, are not raised on mental health and i'm here to raise awareness on it the best way i can so i hope you like my page i hope you subscribe i hope you share this page um some of you have done that already and i appreciate you kisses for you if you haven't done so please join join us on this journey i'm putting lots of effort into this waking up to do this video thinking of content to put up so yeah i hope you enjoyed this journey this video with me and then go on this journey with me i'm not i'm, I'm going about to sign off now so this is not going to be a long video like the other one so yeah so here we are going through mental health nothing i prepared myself for didn't intend to go on this journey don't want to be on this journey but we are here now so we make the most of it and the funniest thing is the relationship that brought me to this situation was with LDR relationship which is a no-no going forward for me I knew it was a no-no when I went into it I don't even know why I got into it in the first place it was a no-no in the beginning and it's still a no-no now I don't know what I was thinking but I guess I just thought God you know God was in serious ways but yes God respects your decision if you don't want something you don't want it all right guys I'm gonna shoot shoot off now thank you so much for watching this video i love you for watching thank you so much take care now bye mm -hmm.